uh, easily get involved in Korean related behaviors. So, after reviewing the articles, and I'm wondering if uh, you guys found a gap or not. So, let's talk about the gap of the previous articles. In the three previous articles, uh, they have studied the ages that are more likely to be bullied and the persistence or preference of bullying and the age, gender, it does, uh, etc. So, from the chart of article one, we found out that uh, there is a the frequency of bullying decrease when age weighs. Also, from the article, from the second article, uh, the author pointed out that the majority of those who bullied at eight will not be bullied at sixteen. So, from these two factors, I can imply we can imply that there is a correlation between age and the number of bullying cases. But, um, <coughs> and however. There's not much research done on this field, this uh, topic. Uh, the topic, uh, yes, there's not much research done on the correlation between age and the number of bullying cases. So I think uh, I have to study this. So my research topic is this, the correlation between age and the number of bullying cases. And my hypothesis is that uh, the number of cases of bullying falls with age ways. This hypothesis is from article 2. I think you may know this. And the aim of my research is to examine the correlation between the age and the uh, bullying cases and to check whether my hypothesis is true or not. If it's true, I think I must uh, explain it maybe by the psychological approach or by further studies. Also, I think <coughs> I want to find out that uh, the age trends in the frequency in the frequencies of Fourier. And from this, I think we can apply some method to tackle the phenomenon of Fourier. And maybe, for example, uh, the authority can put the heavier result of resources to the lower form or the uh, or the higher form, whatever, in order to lower the cases of bullying or the weight of bullying. So now, and I where the those three previous articles is used, useful a lot for my uh, research. The first article I think is quite useful and because there's a result charge and I think from this I can have a brief idea of the relation between age decline and the bullying cases. And also I think this method is quite good. I, I think I can uh, adopt it. And I, I think I can uh, use this method. Mm, for the second article, I think it's quite useful uh, because it shows the relation between uh, age and the cases of bullying. Also, I think this therefore is quite good. So for the and for the article three, I think it's not. I think it's not really useful because I think the result and or the aims of this study is not. Uh, related to my research topic. Okay then. Let's talk about the uh, effort I study. I, I, I will use. Mm. <coughs> For my research, I will survey. I will survey uh, one thousand and three hundred students from primary one to secondary seven. Uh, there's a one there's a one hundred student per form per each form. And there's no uh, six separate 
age range, uh, two years each. And then I will give my uh, questionnaires to them. And uh, in the questionnaires, I will provide the definition of bullying. And then to ask them, ask them whether they or their friends uh, be bullied or not. If they, they or their friends uh, be bullied, they uh, one, one, one score. And if no, zero, zero score. Also, I will ask for their experience or memories uh, about the age they will they, they are bullied if they uh, suffered bullying in the past. So the same one for each. Uh, one one score for each each remember that they are being bullied. Then I will sum the total score of each age group and then compare the score of each group so that I can have a uh, so I will, then I will go to answer this for my presentation. Thank you.